in Yezuso demonstrates that the change of species is from lower forms of life to higher, higher forms of organization. technologies and more detailed engineering studies oh, wow. may lead to necessary modifications. Oh, much bigger. Oh, but one order of magnitude. Yeah. Oh, one order of magnitude. <laughs> right. Oh, when I saw your video, gosh, I say this is huge. <laughs> this is the largest water project ever undertaken by man. Right. So far, the largest project has been Three Gorges Dam, but that's going to be dwarfed by Nawapa. Right couldn't build it all at once, but you could certainly fast track it. Perhaps you've seen a television show called Extreme Home Makeover. Have you seen that one? Okay. So it might take four, five, six months to build a house, but you can concentrate that effort and, and you could physically do it in a week. It's just a matter of, of applying <laughs> more man hours in a concentrated, coordinated fashion. Can we take it further and go out to Mars? It's incredible what this could be doing. It could change the atmosphere, the global climate for the whole region, We're trying to introduce something of that order on another planet. Think about that. I mean, they'll be our neighbors. Well, uh, that impact would be tremendous. <laughs> Just re bringing all water all the way down into Mexico. Expand. Just came to a point in time of budget and crisis. Studies done at the time. The essential plan as presented by the Parsons Company is both completely feasible and accomplished in space, all that we may accomplish in days and years to come. We stand ready to share. Through the Colorado River and the Rio Grande. Part of Washington is dry. Idaho, much of Idaho is fairly dry. Nevada. The construction itself requires enormous amounts of material, equipment, and skill. And since we will not be squeezing materials out of the continent's currently dying state of infrastructure and industry to build it, but using it to cause a fundamental transformation of our current management and understanding of human economics. In Idaho, you can see here, there's a series of orange lines. Those are tunnels connecting all the reservoirs. But each reservoir has a pump lift. And we can see those nuclear plants is where these, where these uh, pumping stations would be and where we might drive them with nuclear power. All of these, what you just seen is that Nawapa in, embodies as one project the intersection of uh, whole sectors of the economy, for every productive sector of the economy. And when you talk about infrastructure, you're really not talking about any one of those sectors. You're talking about the integration uh, of rail. Of